Hi, I'm Judith Monroe, and this is my studio. And today, I'm going to be painting live at church, which means I need to get ready. I'm almost all ready, but there's a few last minute things I need to do. And um, as is normal, I'm a little bit So this is the piece that I transferred yesterday and um, it's all dry but it also has these little spaces that I need to fill in and um, since I need to leave in just a couple hours um, I'm actually a little antsy so I'm just going to get to work with this. have everything together um, there was some challenges because it's been over a year since I've painted live and um, some of these <laughs> I think most of these have dried out this is um, effectively my palette so I will mix paint and um, this is um, airbrush medium to, to make my acrylics thinner uh, because that's how I like to work. I work in transparent layers of color always. Um, what I usually use in the studio is glazing medium. So that's what I normally use, but that takes a long time to dry. Um, so when I'm painting live, I'll use the airbrush medium, which is a lot more expensive so I don't use it unless I really have to. Um, but then I'll mix all of my colors in these little containers and um, most of the time if it's, you know, weeks between, it's not a big deal. I do sometimes glue them shut by accident, but um, I'll deal with like mixing fresh colors when I get there. So I made sure I have all my paints, including my all-important titanium white, which um, I was almost out of and I had the foresight to order more of. Um, and I've, you know, this is the kind of thing that I've forgotten before and um, had to go find it somewhere else. I've always been lucky. Um, someone has been able to bring me something or I've been able to raid other supplies but um I you know let's not tempt fate or God or whatever um so that's all my paints here I've got um my favorite brushes the ones I'm going to use the most plus my tools um and then some matte gel medium I'm not planning on doing any more collage but I might oh Maybe I should grab some organic materials. That's something I like to add. Oh yeah, this is why I think through this process. Anyway, so um, colored pencil sticks, which I might, I haven't done before live, but I might start with those actually. My wax pastels, both my water soluble and my not water soluble. Over here I have um, paper towels, a painting shirt in case I'm chilled, my rags, um, a water container, a spare water container. Rubbing alcohol works as a solvent. You might have seen me use it to help me open a couple of those stubborn 
containers, a big bucket for water. Um, let's see, so my, um, these are the things with dried, this is how I store my dried um, things in binders. And um, I might just take a page or two. I could be, sometimes I work sort of um, randomly. Like I'm really tempted to just grab this first page even though it's not, I wasn't planning on anything like this. And if I, you know, use these to collage onto towards the end. I think I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna pop these out and um, add them to my basket here. And um, that panel is ready. That panel is ready. Sparky says she's going to just chill out here. So this is my workstation for tonight. Tomorrow we'll be outside and um, I'll do a little bit of uh, let you see some of what I'm doing tonight.